Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com. Um, you know, as goldstartool.com gets bigger and bigger in our convoot, and we have more customers, and we want to get into better technology, better quality merchandise, we are forced sometimes to change our suppliers of different things, like in this case, these are motors. This is a brushless sewing machine motor um, made by a different factory. The reason I buy it from a different factory because the quality was better, that's what I felt, and the packaging was better. People that keep buying merchandise from me will know it by now that our brushless motor has been changed to a different factory. You see it from the box. The brush, brushless motor is 650. So if you have a 750 watts, it's the same thing. It's just more power. Okay, so what I'm doing today, pretty much surprise, is the opening box video. And not only that, we're gonna try to put the machine together too, and the motor together. Okay, so you know, when um, you buy new items and you're looking for better quality, sometimes there are other things that lack. In this case, this motor is not a complete set assembled, meaning it's in parts. Mm. You have to assemble it when you get it. Not a big deal. First, I'm gonna tell you what comes with it, okay? Number one that I pull out is the control panel or control box. This one goes right underneath the machine. Imagine if this is a sewing machine, it will go bam right here, this way. There are two screws, I'm gonna show you the screws. This goes di directly to the plug, 110 volt. This is a ball joint, I'm gonna tell you where it goes. This is a um, belt cover. This is an owner's manual. It looks Chinese, it is Chinese, but if you look closer, there are some English wordings in there too. So this will help you a lot. This is really good owner's manual. This is was one of the reasons we went with this company because they have an owner manual in English and it Thanks. helps and it works. Number two. Inside the box, you find another two box. We call this number A, we call number this number B, we get rid of the big box. We're gonna open up number one. Again, this is the first time I do this, I've never done this. My guys in the back assemble the machine, they ship out. I, I don't know what I'm getting into. I just know that people are having problem assembling this. So I'm just starting to do it. We're gonna learn it together. In box A is the main core, the main motor. Okay, and you see it's nothing. There is no bracket. The second part is the pedal. I call this switch, pedal switch. This goes the same way as you see it like this, to the back of the machine, right above the pedal. Ball joint goes here. You have two screws, two nuts. Open the nuts, right? You have two options. I'll always use this option. The far left. You put it inside, you take the nut out, and you secure this part. The other end, you loosen this part, the other end goes to the pedal. So when you put this up and down, you push, you push this down and the switch goes on. This goes to the control panel. This one, from the wire underneath goes to control panel. You're not gonna have any problem finding where this might go. You have one with 10 um, prongs or 10 pins, one with six, one with four, one with two. This is six, it goes to the sixth, right here. You gotta make sure this, you, you never pull this part. You always hold here. There is a trigger, you see that? Are my nails clean? I don't need to get complained. Why you haven't done your nails? It goes bam in there. My kids are watching this video. We're gonna keep this rated G, this video, right? So this is gonna go under the table. We still have our control panel. This goes inside the plug. This is the main baby. This is the motor, this is the engine. We're gonna go to box B. We're gonna get rid of that. Box B. The 
tool bag. Control, I mean, model bracket number one. This is the main one. Oh, I love that smell. <laughs> it smells like China. I'm telling you. It is. You know when you get into the brand new cars, mm -hmm. you have that smell. I mean that type of smell, guys. You're at home. You want to experience that? Okay. <laughs> Number two. We call this table pan, table pan, table um, um, bracket. This one we're gonna call con uh, motor bracket. Okay. You see this? You see all of this here? This one goes. Somewhere around here. I'm going to tell you where it goes. You open this up. Let's see where it's going. I better know where is this thing going, honestly. I told you. This thing goes inside. Just want to make, I know it's going here, but it depends. Okay, it's gonna go here. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be done. Wait, wait one second. I'm gonna get to this, number one, okay. So this we know where it goes. I'm gonna tell you where it goes, okay. Up so you guys know what's happening. <clears throat> These are done. Okay. So when you receive the machine, strike machine, it already has all the holes for the motor. You don't have to worry about the holes for the motor. Okay? Actually it's gonna be like this. Imagine if this is your machine, it's gonna be sitting like this here. Alright? It's underneath the table, right? So from the top, you're gonna drop the screwed inside that wood part and it's, there is already holes it's gonna go in there and this part is done this part you see this is a square it's not round this it's gonna stay above like this and you're gonna call me and say hey mate i don't have a correct um we don't have a correct um bolt or a screw and i tell you no this is correct this goes here and then right, this one goes here. So imagine there's wood here. And when this goes on top, I told him to pick up the phone with doing your video. <laughs> right? We did that. Mm -hmm, you did. We did. Okay. So this is going to stay on the top of the wood. This one, option, option. Could go here, could go here. This makes the motor no sh not shake. Mm. Okay. And then you have this. Right? And then you have this. Sorry, my bad. And then you turn all this up up. So hold tabletop, tabletop here. Then you have this, which we'll call a uh, rubber, um, rubber, whatever you want to call this, rubber bushing, rubber, whatever. And then you have this, and you have this. So this would go up and get tight. There is no other way you could do it. You have two holes here, one hole there, already in the sewing machine. Ex exactly, you don't have to do nothing. So this sits up there, right up there, all right? This one, we're gonna imagine this is on the motor, like this. Goes in here. By the way, this 
would go in there too. My bad. I told you this first time I'm doing this. I might screw up. It's okay. Give me a chance. And this one, you're gonna call me say, David, I don't have the nuts here. You don't need the nuts. People kill me. Hey, the nuts is missing. You don't need the nuts. This is the locking nut here. Meaning that it, it, I'm, am I all over or can people watch? People mm -hmm. see what I'm doing? You can see. Yeah. All right. All right, so this get tight. And this one, the, you're gonna get a bolt and tie it, tie it, tie it. So we know what are these. We know what are these, right, already? We don't need this. We know already what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. All right? Now, this one goes in here. I'm gonna tell you what this does, okay? This one, this one goes here between this, any of these channels, you see that? Let's do it between these two. And when you tie that, try to lift this outside. Number one and number am I number two. I could open this up, but I don't think we need to open it up. See? These two, there is this channel. Just go inside the channel. gonna be a little bit tricky, but just wiggle it in. Let me take this out first, and I'm gonna put that one first, and then for people <clears throat> Why don't you have a hammer here? You don't need a hammer, but then you see my hand. Here you go. Okay, so this is gonna be front of the machine, meaning that when they put the motor on, this is it. You tie this up. The belt goes here. This, you see, one, two, three. This one goes here for the belt or here, whatever you want to do it, mm. right? These are the three screws for that belt cover. One, two, three. They go here. Three place. It could be adjusted, you see? You could adjust, right? No matter what type of machine, sewing machine you have, you could use this motor. When you do this, when you have this in there, when this is done, okay, or like this, however it is that you want it, let's say like this, this is sitting up there, this way, it's gonna go here, this one goes in here, 
things. Don't tell me I did it wrong. Don't tell me I did it wrong. It's a good thing we're learning this together, people. <laughs> See, I don't get frustrated. You shouldn't either, right? That means that we don't have no, we don't have one of those fancy man, fancy studios and cut and recut and do again and take one and take 125. We do it, you call us and tell us I'm frustrated and I go out of my way and I get frustrated for you. <laughs> so you sitting home and I'm missing all these uh, sales calls and uh, Lindsay tells me we gotta take care of people. I say, yes, ma'am, and we'll do it here. Uh, I'm gonna get this done today. We're gonna be so happy by the end of this video because we finished this. Mm -hmm. Actually, because we're gonna show people that yes. You know people that we buy this from? Hmm. They make the same engine for Rolls Royce. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got me. I'm colorful. <laughs> All right, so it was this way, people. It was this way. This is toward the end of the machine where the belt is, and this goes here, and this could here, go, be here like this too. The belt goes here, and the, this is the belt cover, all right? Either way, you could always, I tell you either way, because you could always adjust your motor. That's why you have this. You could adjust it, so if your belt is short or long, you could. So this sits here, and then this goes here. Remember we talked about this? This going in here. Right? So imagine this. Then this one goes here. Right, and then we're gonna have this, oh, the bigger one, I'm sorry. One of these or this one. This, all right, and this goes here. So it ties this one, right? And this one goes in here, and the end goes in here, like this, and I'm gonna tell you what happens. This one go in. My bad. This one goes first. Believe me, I should have been a genius. I am maybe a genius. <laughs> I don't know why people need, okay. One, two, three, here. Right, and then we're gonna do one, more we're gonna this adjustment only adjustment uh, by the way i'm available for doing commercial for you guys <laughs> doing your bar mitzvah bad mitzvah uh, birthday parties all those uh here you go this goes here okay so this is done this is done and it goes this one goes right in here. Oh, see, I should have done that first. Take it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just hope that my wife doesn't watch this video because she's gonna tell me all the time. It's okay. Just, it's just the way you tell your customers. It's okay. <laughs> this one goes here. This one goes right in here. And, come on. Or maybe in here. See that? This way. So we did it this way, we did it this way. This one goes in here. And I'm gonna explain to you how this thing works. I'm not done with you guys. Okay? 
So here, this is the exact way you want to see this. Let me get rid of this wax. Whoa, woo! Come on. Nicely done. Nicely done. So this one, when you see this here, you tie this. When this is tied, and this is tied, everything tied. If you need the belt, you we need to loosen the belt. You could get rid of this one, and this one comes down, and the more goes that way, meaning more room for belt. This tied up, this also could be adjusted, right? When this is not in here, then when this is open, you could here, yeah, see, I could go this way or this way, and then when you finish, you put it on, right? So this is the way you're gonna do it. For people that are just joining us, this is it. All right? Mm. This sits between this and the table. The table is right here. The table is gonna go right here. And you're gonna have that square sticking up. When you tie this, the square goes inside the hole and locks it. We call this locking bolt, mm. right? Okay, so, and then you're gonna have the bag of fasteners for the cable that goes under the sewing machine. And you wanna run that on. So, we have one, then we're gonna have this one go in there too. We're gonna have two more. If you buy, we have, we sell lights online that goes in here, they're called magnetic line. That goes with a tiny, tiny, um, um, LED light that you plug it in here and run it and put it right beneath the neck of the sewing machine. I'm not talking about the gooseneck like I'm talking about the small one that goes in here. And this one is for needle positioning system. Oh, okay. When you do this, there is needle positioning system. Okay, so now this is the fun part. Um, hold on, we're gonna open this up. This could plug in anywhere inside your kitchen, garage, work, 110 volt, plug it in, all right? I'm gonna turn this around, there is no electricity here, you don't have to worry about it, see, this is happening. If this is going this way, meaning that the belt is going that way. If I pull this, see, the belt is going this way, look at this. This way, the belt, this, the, see? See? Uh, and I'm gonna go fast, look. Okay. If you do, you plug this in and you're happy, and now you're ready to make that first garment, and you thread the sewing machine. Again, any type of sewing machine, single needle, overlock, multi, cover stitch, walking foot. And you see your machine, instead of going that way, the fabric is coming towards you. That means that you have to put your hand, your finger here, you see? I'm gonna tell you what it is later on. Okay, I'm sorry, put your finger on S. Did you see it turned? Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what was that, that that I did. And now, if you look, it's going the other way. Mm -hmm. You see, that would change the direction. By the way, it's good to say, take take video of this. This is the number that we're doing, right? I can't see. I really can't see, but A eight yes six fifty W. And there is the A eight right here too. Okay, so. To change the direction on this machine, done. Now, to control the speed, 4039, you see, coming down, 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 and plus up, down, 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 down. Is that stitches per minute? No, honey, this is uh, RPM. RPM, you see? This one came right, it's only to 200, let me show you. This 200. Now, mm -hmm. people call say, hey, this only goes to 200. We want 
we want it to be a slower, one stitch at a time. Press P, 200. Hold on. are trying to when you go in there you get options of p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 p9 p10 go one that's how you get to be programming and then here when you go to this place if you want to know p1 it tells you could do it from 100 range mm -hmm. right press p1 and then I think you S, you have to keep S, R, and then P2, P3, all of these things would give you different. P6, all the way up, P10, all the way up you could do it. So to get to the, to the programming, You get press the P and keep hold it right now. Uh, for needle positioning system, if you have the needle positioning system, you see oh. up. This is needle down, neutral needle down or up. Whenever you stop, wherever you stop, needle up. Mm, okay. So this we did this for Scott. Scott Hahn. No, we're not gonna say the last name. I mean, Ma Scott, Hahn. yes, whatever. But Scott, this is your video. This is for you. We did it for you because you, um, and really, it's pretty hard. By the way, we've been selling this for over six, seven months. And a lot of people figured it out on their own. And some people like me had a hard time. But the whole idea is that people really take your time. Don't be frustrated. Um, we here, just like you, we try to learn everything every day and call us. The good thing is that you call us, you could get, get a hold of us and uh, we'll do a video for you guys. This is again a video on a brushless motor, uh, A8, 650 watt. If you get the 750 watt, it's the same thing, the same way. This is the way you put it together. Thank you for hanging around with me. Oh my God, I need some water. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day. Please like, share, Give us a shout out and this is Lindsay behind the camera. Woo. Thank you everybody.